Hello friends, this video on soil part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will see how do the different types of soil and their properties affect different types of crops. So basically, before we talk about the different crops which are grown in different soil, let's see the factors which can affect the quality, texture or behavior of the soil. So what are those external factors? Temperature, because if the temperature is very high, what happens? The moisture content of the soil might reduce because the water present in the soil, it might start evaporating at very high temperature. So temperature can affect the soil quality. Rainfall, too much of rainfall might bring a lot of water to the soil. So the soil might become waterlogged, it might become wet soil, which is not desirable for growth of crops. Wind, now if a heavy wind can actually cause soil erosion, it can actually take away the top layer of soil. So that means we are losing the most important layer of soil which is important for growth of crops. Humidity, again, humidity is nothing but presence of moisture in the atmosphere. Now, if the pres amount of at uh, moisture in the atmosphere increases or decreases, so obviously that will have an impact on the moisture content of the soil also. Light. The presence or absence of light can also affect the amount of water that is being retained by the soil. So these are some of the factors which can actually bring about a change to the quality of the soil, either in terms of texture or in terms of behavior or in terms of water content. So let us see how are crops related to the properties of soil. Now different crops need different types of soil. Now, needs of different crops are different. Now, some crops might need more water, some crops might need less water. So, based on their requirements, they prefer specific types of soil for their growth. So, if you look at uh, the crops like cereals, maybe wheat or rice, so you see even for them also their requirements might vary a little bit here and there. So, they, they would like to have a soil which retain more water and which type of soil retain more water? Clay soil. So, clay soil, loamy soil, so they retain comparatively more water as compared to the sandy soils. So, we will now look at some of the crops specifically and we will see which type of soil do they prefer for their growth. So, let us first talk about the cereals. So, when I say cereals, as I said, they generally prefer soils which retain water. So, the properties which they are looking at in a soil is retain more water, so that is one property they are looking at and which particular soil retain more water? Clayey soil, loamy soils. So they both retain comparatively more water. So if you take examples like wheat, so they would prefer clayey soil or loamy soils. So wheat would in fact prefer, it would more prefer the fine clayey soils because clayey soils are very rich in humus. So fine clay soils with humus. So that would be like the ideal one or the best one for wheat. Again, you think of other cereal like rice. So in paddy fields, they need something with too much of water. So they want excess water. So excess water is present in clay soil. So even loamy soil would not be the best option because clay soil has the maximum water retention. So in this case, it has excess water water and that is what is desired by rice or the paddy fields. So therefore clay soil along with little bit of organic matter because organic matter improves the fertility of the soil. So that would be the best for paddy fields. Now think of cotton. So here you will see a little different requirement. Now cotton doesn't want too much of water retention. It doesn't want too much of water at all. What it wants is water should get drained easily. So the soil should be able to drain water easily. So water should not get, you know, kind of retained within the soil, but it should be able to pass through the soil easily. Second requirement is that the soil should be able to hold enough air. So where do you think these two conditions will get satisfied? So though that type of soil which has big spaces in between, so that big spaces will hold more air, and the big spaces will also allow water to drain quickly. So obviously we are talking about the sandy soils. Now see loamy soils is everywhere preferred because it is like 
intermediate it allows water to drain also it holds air also it also retains water because it is the middle of both sandy and clay soils so loamy soils is like preferred by most of the plants but if you talk about more preference so cotton plant would give more preference to sandy soils think of pulses there are so many different types of pulses uh, which are grown so different pulses again need have different requirements but most of these pulses they prefer well drained loamy soils now however pulses are grown on a variety of soils starting from sandy soils to loamy soils however this one is the most ideal one so most ideal would be well drained loamy soils however for some specific pulses the needs might differ so let us consider the example of the urad bean so this is more susceptible to water logging therefore it prefers loamy to clay soils so therefore for the, in this case loamy to clay soils are preferred in case of urad bean again you take examples of the lentils so in case of lentils loamy soils are preferred so similarly for different types of pulses the requirements might vary a little bit here and there but overall what i'm trying to say is if you look if you try start studying each and every crop you will see that they have some specific need so they grow only in a particular environment and whichever soil type provides that is the best suitable one to cultivate that particular crop thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.